Hello everybody and welcome back to Mega Man Battle Number 2. Now in the last episode we got on the plane and we're headed back home, but well, time to talk to people because we've already seen the cockpit in the last episode, so ha, ah, just a little turbulence. I wasn't scared at all, no problem. Oh my goodness, when will we land in Electopia? Not an unusual character at all. Keep yourself calm. What happened? What's all the fuss about? You woke me up. Oh, very kind of you to speak to me. Here is for you. Gotta repair L. It's nice to be traveling with a companion. Everything shook. I was so scared. Sob. I was so sk scared, but I won't won't cry. Th that was scary. I th think I wet wh myself a little. Well, then you should probably go to the bathroom. Let's see, we already got everything, didn't we? Yeah. I may not look like it, but I'm a doctor. Natopians call me. Dr. Iron Fist. An Iron Fisted Doc. Pretty cool, huh? You don't believe me, do you? Okay, how about this? Now we get a Silver Fist E. Yeah, I can't really use that, but hey, I always give this to young patients. I research programs for artificial personalities. Like the Navi. I like Tobias Navi's are world famous. I'm looking forward to seeing them. And one, and two, and one, and two. I just can't wait to start dancing in Electopia. And one, two, three, spit, you're in a chair. It's my first time leaving Natopia. It's exciting. Going abroad is full of surprises. Come on, sense in, sense in one country is absurdity in another. It's an education. Hey, kid. Did you know that this plane has a one-of-a-kind high-power program? <laughs> you don't seem strange at all. I'm glad I paid for this ex- I'm glad I paid extra for the seat in business. It's so comfortable. When I get home, I'm taking a nice bath. Then I'll clean my house and clothes. That turbulence was something. You get hurt? Speaking of which, the guy in front of me keeps moving around. What's his problem? First class got nothing. Got everything, boy. Comfortable chairs and fine whiskey. If they have some cute girls, I'll be in heaven. Yo, what's up with that geezer? That's so nice, I want to fly first class too. But the Electopian Bug Society doesn't have much money. Lan, it's almost 12 o'clock. Time for lunch. Guess I'll get back to my seat. No, no more. I'm totally stuffed. Wow, Lan, you must have been really hungry. This plain food is a lot better than I expected. Ten minutes later. Oh, uh, What's wrong, Lan? My, my stomach hurts. Serves you right for pigging out. Well, now we gotta make a quick trip to the bathroom. I was helping this man with his luggage and a big spider. What kind of spider? Where did it go? It was all black and hairy with fat legs and red eyes. It went running off, but it's probably no big deal. I'm not so sure about that. Lynn, did you hear them just now? A spider covered with black hair? What if it's poisonous? That would be real bad. Maybe one of the passengers knows about bugs. Hmm, someone who knows about bugs. Well, that's extremely obvious, is it not? Anything I can help with, Sonny? Um, I'm looking for someone who knows about bugs. Knows about bugs? Don't insult me! I know so much about bugs, they call me the Encyclopedia. Well then, I was wondering, do you know any spiders that have fat legs and black hair? Well, spiders aren't insects, but I know a few like that. Did it have any other notable features? Um, oh, it had really red eyes. Ah, that's an easy one. Lives in Netopia, that one. The Red-Eyed Woolly Spider. The Red-Eyed Woolly Spider? Yes, it's quite rare, you see. Easily identified by its thick black hair and red eyes. And it's incredibly lethal poison. If a person is bitten, they freeze up within, within a few hours. What was that? It came from the seats in the back. Man, what if... Thank you, man, let's go. Right on. Thanks, mister. My pleasure, sonny. If it's about bugs, I'm your man. You know, screaming on a plane is probably not the smartest thing to do, though. What happened? A, a spider... It bit... Erg. Oh, no. What should I do? Make him in. Find out if there are any doctors on this plane. Roger. Well, we met Dr. Silverfist earlier, but now we gotta run all the way back up to business class. What the? I didn't mean to do that. An emergency? Where's the patient? 
By the laboratory? Got it. I need to get ready, so you go over there first. Running through a plane is probably not the smartest idea either. I found a doctor. That should do the trick. Is he going to be alright, doctor? I think so, but he should rest until we reach Electopia. He appears to be in shock from the poison. He was bitten by a spider. A poisonous spider on the plane? Why didn't you tell us? Sorry, sir. You see, we didn't know it was poisonous. Well, no point in picking out on the stewardess. First things first, we gotta catch that spider. Except, I have to look after this patient. Then I'll go catch the spider. You'll catch the spider. The poisonous spider. No problem. The bug guy can help me find him. Okay, you're on the job. And try to be discreet. If people find out, there's a, going to be mass panic. And panic means lots of injuries, so be careful. I'll be looking after the patient in the back. Good luck, kid. Right on. Still, though, I know there's another guy on the plane that knows about bugs and can help me catch this thing, but still... I'll tell you the truth, sir. What do you mean by the truth, boy? Such and such. What? A red-eyed woolly spider? Shh, not so loud. Oh, sorry, sorry. Say, you want to catch it? Let's set a trap. Round up the materials to make a trap. What kind of trap will you set? It'll be a surprise. Here are the necessary materials. Some kind of box, a stick, and some string. And some whiskey. Why whiskey? These poison spiders like the smell of expensive whiskey. It smells like the pheromones they emit for mating. I got you. Anyway, a box, a stick, string, and whiskey. Coming right up. Once you've got it, once you find everything, come and see me again. It's up to you. Also, I'm just kind of enjoying the fact that this kid's game is just blatantly being like, Oh yeah, whiskey. It's no big deal. We can mention that. You know, totally a normal thing. Huh? What is it? Oh, these chopsticks? Well, actually, my husband made them. He and I have been making chopsticks for 45 years now. We have a dream. We want to take our chopsticks abroad and show the world how great they are. We scrimped up. We scrimped and saved for the trip, but he passed away. We were always together, but then we had to break apart, just like a pair of chopsticks. I was very sad when my husband died, but to keep our dream alive, I decided to go to Natopia alone. The Natopians loved my husband's chopsticks, and so I'm so happy. Sniff, sob. I'm sorry for rambling on and on. Would you like to hear the story of how we met? Oh, you're busy, I see. Too bad. Would you like some chopsticks? Take as many as you want. We get chopstick. Okay. Now, we also need a hat and string. You need a rope or something? Huh, let me see. In my pocket, maybe? Got it. Can you use this? It's a thread. Alright, now we just need whiskey and a box of some kind. So, obviously, well, because the guy in first class who was mentioning about whiskey is going to have it. But there's another place that we can also go. I could probably use this hat if I'm careful. Nobody should notice. Sorry, Captain. I'll bring it back. Got the pilot cap. Yo, kids, sup? Was that? You want some of this whiskey? You're just a... You're just out of the crib, kid. Go suck your mama's milk. What? You still up in my face? Aight, kid. Well, we'll see what's up. You want some of this? You ain't... It ain't gonna be free. It don't come that easily. You gotta show me what you made of. I'm gonna sing a tune, dig? You join in. If you can keep up with me, you'll get your sip on. All right to rumble? Hells yeah! All right, here I goes. One, two, one, two, three, yo! And this is where everything just goes by, like, really weird, so bear with me, please. Chicka chick, baby, make me go kaboom. Can you dig it, lady? On my love fire, coming to you soon. Now that's freestyle, kid, right off the top of my head. Hey, right, you got it. It's your turn now. One, two, one, two, three, go. And basically this is just a, you know, keep up with... Why is Please Be My Groom in there? Make my messy, make my messy root. What? What? Why? Why? That what you made of? Show me your real stuff. You read the rumble. Ah, okay. I messed it up. It was lady, not. Okay. Yes. 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 Can, can I? Can I just continue, please? Almost pressed the wrong thing. Let's see. No, it's coming to you. Dang, boy, you got that rid damn. Here you go, kid. Land got whiskey. Once again, just 
doesn't really matter the fact that that's illegal and the guy can get arrested for giving an 11 year old whiskey. I'm still 10 years, well, okay, myself, I'm like two years away from being allowed to drink, but Lan still got like 10 years to go. I got all the materials for the spider trap already, so we should, sh shall we set the trap? By the way, where is the spider anyway? Eek! A spider just ran into first class. First class, we're off, son. Well, yeah. Everyone, there's a dangerous spider in our midst. We'll catch it, so just follow my lead and please move. What did he say? You serious? Oh my god. Now all we have to do is wait for it. Look, it's here. Okay, that is one gigantic spider. I guess Netopia is also where Australia is, apparently. In terms of its size of spiders, because seriously... Is that thing even large enough to fit in that cap? Now! We did it! And how did the wine bottle not just prop it up? Mission complete. Sorry for the scare, everyone. Thanks for your cooperation. Thank you, sir. Huh? This is a walk in the park. Or first class. We trapped it. Let's go back to our seat. Sure. It's a long way home to Electopia. A few hours after capturing the poison spider. Attention, please. It's 5 a.m. The plane is on course and scheduled. On the schedule. Sk sk ah! Everyone, fasten your seatbelts. What? What? Lan, the plane is shaking. It's not stopping. What's going on? Captain, right wing engine, red alert. Looks like a bug. The terminal is not accepting any data from here. Alert the net battler on board. Actually, he was bitten during the poison spider incident. Lord help us. Ask if there are any net battlers among the passengers. Are there any net battlers on board? If so, please come to the cockpit immediately. Did you hear that, Lan? Something is up. Off to the cockpit. Righto. Once again, all these people and I'm like the only person that actually is like heading up there. I mean, it does make a little bit of sense because like, I guess, you know, there's not many people who would have their, at least up to their A license, especially a kid. Captain, I happen to be a city net battler. Oh, you are? A bug broke out in the right pro wing program. We can't control the balance, that's why we're shaking, so we're in danger of crashing if we don't respond. Put your faith in us, Mega Man, we're needed in action. Roger that. Check in, Mega Man, execute. So yeah, we go from one crease crises straight on to the next. Mega Man, search for out the right wing program. Gotcha. Wah! What's up, Mega Man? The magnetic force inside the airplane is incredible. Mega Man, you okay? Fine, but my body is being overwhelmed by the magnetic force. The airplane might also be affected by the magnetic force. But there's no other way. Lin, you handle the routines. I'm on it. So now we have to deal with these things. So basically you're gonna get launched across. What a strong magnetic field. We programs can't operate normally in a place like this. So basically they work how the say the same way that um the little not I'm they're not dash panels, but the little ride panels with the arrows on it that are normally in the net, they function pretty much exactly like that. And these panels are actually really annoying. If you're standing next to them, they'll drag you up. And they'll drag they'll drag you to them. So you gotta be careful and make sure that you know like where you're standing, because if you're standing next to them, they're gonna drag you across. But if you're at least two panels away, like when I had jumped to the front row of my panels, it didn't drag me because it didn't have a strong enough force to drag me. So yeah, basically what we need to do is we need to hunt down through the entire area, search for these little terminals that have the airplane symbol to get onto the next area, and hunt down that red box that you just see. We want to hunt down a red box and a blue box. Usually you'll find the blue box first, but you can also find the red one first, so I'm kind of messing up my sentences here. So you want to hunt down both boxes, essentially. Just that way you can cut off the magnetic fo force for either blue or red, depending on which one you find first. So if you find red, all the red ones will get will go ahead and go away. And if you find blue, the blue ones will go away. And then you've got to hunt down the rest throughout the rest of the area to find the other one, cut it off, and continue on. Also, I did some upgrading to my folder, and I forgot to mention this for like the past 15 minutes, but I got some, uh, what's it called? Satellite R's? There's specifically Satellite 2. If you jack into the 
board at the very back of the plane in the area that you normally sit in, you can... Oh, that was a mistake. But you can access an area... You can, The net that you go onto has the satellite viruses to get the battleship. You just need to... You don't necessarily need to S-rank them, but you do want to get like a, a level 9 or 8 ranking. Oh, that completely missed. So with having those now, thankfully I've got a little bit more for long range options. But without an area grab, my sword attacks are going to be still hard to hit. Alright, here's the blue box that so we can go ahead and just shut this side down. Okay, nothing there. Also, keep an eye out for where stuff might be because, you know, you don't want to miss anything. And full energies are useful. Okay, that was a bad idea, but I was thirsty. I should have just, like, taken a quick pause. But... Ah! Okay, let's use fast gauge so I can get this moving. I'm invisible in case I can't destroy this in time. Oh, and um, I just want to give you guys a quick heads up while I was doing my grinding. I actually did get another style change while I was doing it, though I did not keep it. Just a kind of a heads up. I ended up getting... Oh, okay, this is where we came from, I do believe. Or was it? But, um, I ended up getting a Heat custom style. I decided to stick with the Aqua custom that I'm going to be using, mainly for my grinding, because, well... Neither one's really better than the other. In my opinion, both of them are pretty powerful. While the Heat is more powerful than the Water, you do have a couple more options that you can go through, and is this going to leave like, the same area? Yes, it is because I went the wrong way. I knew it was, but I was like, did I go this way? Oh, grass line N. Oh, if it was R, that would be nice, because that would really help for fire attacks. Yeah, don't steal my chips. Yeah, that's what that's what these catcher guys do is uh, if you have battle chips, they're going to come at you and try to run into you. And if they manage that, then you lose your battle chips. All right, come on. I know there's a way through here. There it is. Oh, of course you want to be annoying. Another satellite to R. I mean, I'll take it. Oh, I didn't press the button. Mega Man activated the red demagnetizer. The red magnet field was de negated. Well, now that we can head back through, we're able to get to this box, the gray one that we need to get to. Even though I did not mention any gray boxes, but still. Take, take care of you. Take you out. And there we go. But essentially the gray box that we're about to head to is the goal of the area. So once you take down the red and the blue box to get rid of the magnetic field, you want to head for this and make it fix the bug in the right wing program. The right wing program began operating normally. Well, that's a relief. Captain, there's a problem with the piloting program. What? You can't control the rudder? We'll crash! Make it man, quick, check out the running program. Roger! Yeah, it's gonna be a sec before we actually are, you know, able to get through, but we'll get there eventually. Maybe. Let's see. The TL engine program is just beyond here. Oh, 
Oh, a little bomb asterisk. I mean, that would be useful if I needed them, but at the same time, I kind of don't. Yeah, okay. This will probably break before it gets through everything, but worth a shot anyway. There we go. Mega Man activated the red demagnetizer. The red magnetic field was negated. Alright, well at least that's one dealt with. And I can grab this. Ooh, HP memory. Honestly, I would have preferred a power up, but I'll take HP memory. Okay, that's where we came from. Starting off. We need to hurry up and find the... Well, we don't need to hurry, but I'd prefer to kind of, you know, get a move on. Can you move fast enough down? If I can move fast enough down and actually fire my attack off. Ow, why did I jump into that? Oh! A Luck Castell, level 3. Charge attack, zap ring up. So yeah, our zap ring now does 30 damage instead of 20 at a fully charge. Which isn't that amazing, but hey. We can use it. I mean, we're going to continue using it. I mean, the more damage you can put on with anything is always better. But, still. I do wish they actually upped the attack damage. The weakest is... Okay. Uh, excuse my wording here, but the technical weakest attack of all of them is the wood, because that only does 20 damage. But if you get an enemy locked in with the tornado attack, it's going to do a total of 160 damage, because it hits for 8... It hits eight times. Let's see, get 900. But if you have any like the twister, blower, battleships, you know, you get pretty much the same effective type of damage. And some of them actually have uh, elemental properties where you just have like the, a wood element, but still, always useful. Keep moving because it should be the blue meat demagnetizer. Come on. Alright, now we just need to get to the box. Make it fix the bug in the tail engine program. The tail engine program has been again operating normally. One down. Those gospel jerks, what are they gonna do? What are they gonna infect next? What now? The cabin pressure is going down, down. What now? The cabin pressure program. At this altitude, if this pressure keeps dropping, everyone will die of altitude sickness. Well, it is getting hard to breathe. Mega Man, the pressure program, and make it fast. Roger. I mean, yeah, breathing is kind of something we need to do. Though I don't really know how bad altitude sickness is, because I've never been on a plane before. So, yeah. Oh, barrier L. Not the best, but not the worst either. And 1800 inning, I'll take that. I mean, hey, it means I have less grinding to do when we actually get around to that. Well, one thing I am going to say is we kind of have hit the area where you've got to be very careful about what you do. Because if you're not, you could easily end up going around in circles, getting lost, and just spending way too much time in this area. So just be careful as to where you end up going. And was there... Let's see. I'm being kind of careful as I go around because there was an area where there's a bug frag hiding. I don't think we've passed it yet. Maybe we have and I just missed it. But you don't see it for quite a while up until you almost are at the end of this area, and oh, of course one would survive.
No. Thousand Zenny. Why am I just getting money? Why can't you give me like other things? Alright, make me activated your red demagnetizer. Which also means we can go up there now, which is where I'm gonna head, because I believe there's another uh, mystery data up there. Oh, and Magnekers. These guys are not fun. What they do is they will fire a little bit of a cannonball type of thing onto your field. They also move extremely slowly. And if they get you, not, it's not if they get you stuck, but they can have you get stuck there for a while. Even if the field like goes away, it will continue to have you stuck there. So you gotta be careful about that. But as long as you can avoid it, dodging them is no problem because they're slow. Like really, really slow. Magbomb one. Okay, there's nothing up there. Come on, we've got to move! This plane is going to go down if we don't hurry. I mean, not literally, but still. Where's the gray one? Okay, it's gotta be over here, right? Yeah, I just wanna make sure as there's nothing left for me to grab. Fix the bug in the air pressure program. The air pressure program began work operating normally. Whew, I thought I'd lose my breath. Oh no, the throttle's not responding. We're losing altitude. 42,000 feet, 41,000 feet, 4,000 feet, 400,000 feet, or 40,000. And we were so close to Octopia. What's happening this time? We're losing altitude at an incredible rate. So you mean we're falling? Mega Man, we're gonna crash. Report, repair the throttle program ASAP. Roger, ASAP. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode off here, and we'll continue on in the next episode, just because I don't want this going on too long. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you liked it, please leave a like down. And if you want to see more of this stuff, please consider subscribing. You know, you can always change your mind if you want. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Later.